Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. This is Anubhav, and in this video, we will be learning about REST API. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's begin and see what's in it for you. First, we'll see the introduction to REST API. After that, we will see what is Express.js. Moving ahead, we'll see what is REST API. And then, we will see HTTP request types. And in last, we will create a simple RESTful API from scratch. REST API are the standard way to send and receive data for web services. Client sends a request which goes to the REST API, then to the database to get or put the data. After that, it will come back to the REST API and then to the client. Using an API is just like using a website in a browser, but instead clicking on the buttons, we write code to request data from the server. It is very flexible and can handle multiple types of requests. RESTful API is very popular and very commonly used to create APIs for web-based applications. What is Express.js? Express.js is a Node.js framework designed to build APIs, web applications, and cross-platform mobile applications. It is used as a server-side scripting language. Express.js is high performance, fast, lightweight, and unopinionated. We'll see what is REST API. But before that, what is REST and what is API? REST means representational state transfer. REST is a popular architecture which is used to create web services. Now, API is an application programming interface. It is a code that allows two software programs to communicate with each other. REST API is a software that allows two applications to communicate with each other with the help of internet and various devices. Now, we will see the HTTP request types. First one is GET. It is used to request data from the server, but mainly this method is used to read data. Next one is PATH. It is used to update the data or to change or replace it. Next is POST. POST method is used to create new or to edit already existing data. After that, it is DELETE. DELETE method is used to delete the data completely from the server. Now, we will see the complete architecture of HTTP request type. In this, client sends a request in the form of JSON file. And with the help of HTTP request, which are get, patch, post and delete, it will go to the server and then sends back the response to the client in the form of message to tell what happened to the request. And now, we will create a simple RESTful API from scratch. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. First, you need to open your editor. For this, I am using VS Code. For this, you need to open your folder created one folder in the C drive express JS open it for this you need to have node.js installed first open your terminal by clicking on terminal new terminal First, we'll write npm init hyphen y. Press enter. This will create a JSON file for us. Now let's install Express.js. 
for that we'll write npm install express press enter this is installing express.js this will add all the dependencies so now we have only one express installed we need a file here to write our code so we'll create a file called index.js enter in this file we will write all our code open index.js first we'll write const app wire express In this line we have imported the express package which itself is a function so we'll write parenthesis here to initialize it now we'll write const port We'll write the port number. I'm writing 4000 here. This will call a variable which is 4000. Now we'll write app dot lesson. Till now, our API hasn't defined any endpoints. This app.listen tells the server to listen on specific port which we have defined already as a variable 4000. Now in app.listen we will write a second argument as callback to tell us the API is working or not. Then we will write port comma we'll write the callback function here we'll write fat arrow function console dot log backtick it's running on HTTP localhost localhost dollar sign and port which will come under curly braces. Now we can run this app by writing a command on a terminal. First, save this file. Terminal. Now we'll write a command to run this file. Index at node file name index dot js. So it's successfully showing us it's running on HTTP port 4000. Open your Chrome or anything. I'm using Chrome here. I'll write localhost 4000. Enter. Localhost. Enter. Can't get. Now. 
if you open this URL, you will see this message can't get. This is because we don't have any API endpoints as of now. But Express.js is still responding with error message. You can add an API and call it. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. Make sure to like and share it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.